Hi, I'm Willow, and I'm about to do an archaeological dig at the Botanic Garden at Georgia Southern University. In front of me, I have five sample plots set up that have artifacts relating to three famous Georgians. As I go through each plot, I want you to help me identify these artifacts and see if you can figure out which famous Georgians relate to these items. Let's begin by checking our first sample plot to see if there are any artifacts inside that can help us identify these three famous Georgians. I'm gonna take my trowel, which is a little shovel, and carefully remove the top soil to see if I find anything. What's this? It's a map of Georgia. Hmm. Maybe one of these three famous Georgians was an explorer or someone who traveled. Let's keep looking to find out. Let's see what we find in this sample plot. I see a little bit of color. It looks green. Hmm. What could this be? It's a headband with feathers. Hmm. What kind of person from Georgia might have worn a headband with feathers? Hmm. I say we keep looking. As we move on to our third test plot, I want you to think about your guesses and see if you can identify any of these famous Georgians. I think I found something. It's a picture of a trading post or a place where people exchange goods. Hmm. Now a picture like this probably wouldn't have lasted in the soil, but pieces of the trading post would still remain, like metal and other fixtures that don't erode over time. Hmm. Who do you think this famous Georgian could have been? Or famous Georgians? Let's keep looking and see if we can find out. Hmm. I see something, or a piece of something. I'm gonna keep looking just in case. I'm glad I did because I found another piece. It looks like, if you were to put them together, it makes a gun. Why would we find a gun? I know. I bet that's something that would have been traded at the trading post. What do you think? Which famous Georgians would have related to these items? Let's dig here for a few minutes before we try to identify these three famous Georgians to see if there are any artifacts that might give us a few extra clues. Sometimes, archaeologists dig all day before they find something, or they never find anything at all. So I'm going to take my time just to make sure I don't miss anything. I'm glad I did, because I found deer skin or deer hide that would have been turned into leather. Hmm, this leather could have been used for lots of different things. Straps for bags, to wrap up tools, maybe for clothing? Hmm. Let's keep looking. I found a bag. Let's see what's in it. Beautiful jewelry. This jewelry looks like it's handcrafted and probably would have been worn on special occasions. Hmm. It seems like both of these artifacts would have been made by people. Who would have made these? Do you know? While digging, we found a Georgia map, a trading post with some tradable artifacts, and a headband with feathers on it. 
What three famous Georgians would these artifacts have belonged to? It's James Oglethorpe, Tomachichi, and Mary Musgrove. But how did we know these artifacts belonged to these three famous Georgians? Well, the first artifact was this Georgia map, which represents James Oglethorpe, the founder of Savannah. Back in England, James Oglethorpe had a friend who was in prison due to debt or money that he owed and couldn't pay off. Inspired by this, James Oglethorpe wanted to help other similar prisoners that also owed debt by giving them a second chance in the New World. In order to do this, James Oglethorpe traveled to the New World to see if he could establish a new colony, which eventually became Georgia. In 1733, James Oglethorpe traveled to the New World with 116 skilled people that would help him develop the colony. They landed in South Carolina and began looking for the right place to settle. They eventually chose Yamacraw Bluff, located near modern-day Savannah, which was home to the Yamacraw natives, led by Tomachichi. Tomachichi welcomed Oglethorpe and his men, offering them hospitality and information about the land. Quickly, Oglethorpe and Tomachichi developed a great friendship and business relationship. In fact, Tomachichi agreed to let Oglethorpe establish a city, now Savannah, Georgia. In return, Tomachichi hoped that he could establish trade with the European settlers and have opportunities for education for his tribe. Speaking different native languages, Oglethorpe and Tomachichi had a little bit of a challenge communicating. To solve this problem, an amazing woman named Mary Musgrove helped them to communicate by serving as a translator. Mary Musgrove was born as Kusaponakisa to a Muskogee family, but her father was an Englishman and her mother was a Muskogee Creek. This meant that Mary was bilingual or could speak two languages, English and her native Muskogee. Because of this, she served as a translator for Oglethorpe and Tomachichi, helping them to communicate and establish trade. Mary Musgrove was a brilliant businesswoman. She and her husband opened a trading post, which is a place where people can exchange goods, kind of like a Walmart or a general store that has lots of different things. At this trading post, you may have found clothing, tools, jewelry, weapons, or many other things. This trading post became very important to the founding of the city of Savannah, as it helped settlers and Native Americans get the things they needed to survive. James Oglethorpe, Tomachichi, and Mary Musgrove were all great leaders. So, to honor them, let's play Follow the Leader. In just a moment, we'll stand up, and I want you to begin marching in place. If you have extra room, feel free to move around. I'll begin by doing a movement that relates to one of these leaders, and I want you to follow along. So pay close attention, and let's march. Here's the first motion. We're sailing to the new world to start a colony. Land ho! Keep marching. We came across Native Americans. We come in peace. We met Tomachichi and we shook his hand. Now, we're really hungry, so let's go spearfishing. Yes! Yes! Mmm! Last, we're gonna thank James Oglethorpe for founding Savannah by giving him a salute. These three famous Georgians were very important to the founding of Savannah and making Georgia what it is today. If you ever get the chance to visit Savannah, take a moment to thank James Oglethorpe, Mary Musgrove, and Tomachichi.